The French uh, are known for loving fine art, fine cuisine, arts and entertainment. They are also a very fashionable lot. They love good looking clothes, sometimes out of the box kind of fashion. And even their cars, they are quite beautiful. And that might call for a Wakurugenzi, my man, moment. Because the car we are reviewing today has a rich history and we are going to give you an up close and candid review of that car because it's quite significant in that lineage and that is because conversations is that channel that will guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience and i'll be your host eric wakabi eric with a ck uh, taking you through this review you can follow me at a personal level on facebook twitter and instagram and clearly pause <laughs> Pia, you can follow conversations on our social media platforms because we value your feedback. Tell us which other cars do you want to see because the car we are reviewing today will be a game changer in the Kenyan car market in 2024. So give us your feedback on conversations on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And now let's get up close and candid with the 2016 Citroen DS4. Citroen is known to be one of the most innovative automobile manufacturers in the world. I don't know why today most people don't talk about Citroen, but there are two world records that Citroen has broken. In fact, they were broken over 90 years ago, and we are still using them in automobile manufacturing up to date. In fact, all manufacturers have embraced technology that was introduced by Citroen. Citroen's founder, Andre Citroen, was looking for a way to differentiate the brand and make the cars, you know, a bit more appealing. And uh, he thought that the only way he was going to do that is by making the cars safer and more comfortable. And in 1934, Citroen introduced what was called the Citroen Traction Avant. Well, the Citroen Traction Avant was basically the first mass-produced front-wheel drive vehicle passenger vehicle with a monocoque chassis yes so that was record number one so most passenger cars today have a monocoque chassis meaning it's it's a unibody it's not body on frame and on top of that he made sure they made sure that the car was front wheel drive so traction avant basically means uh, a front wheel drive vehicle or a front traction vehicle. So that was the first record that Citroen broke. So the cars were, in fact, they took appeal to women. Yes, this is actually in history. Women loved the traction Avant. And that is why Citroen went ahead to be used as taxis because the, the floor was low. You would be able to enter or, or board the car very easily and even alight very easily because you do not have to struggle uh, going up and down the vehicle. And uh, fast forward 23 or yeah, about 20 years later, they brought another model that changed the way engineers perceive suspension for even now. And that vehicle was the Citroen DS. The Citroen DS is an icon in the automobile world. It, it featured phenomenal suspension. In fact, up to date, I don't think there is anyone who has been able to replicate the good uh, suspension that was on, on Citroens. And right now, even the Peugeot 504s that we have reviewed on Conversations Row, they have had very good suspension systems. Why? Because Citroen is part of PSA Group, which, in, uh, which is made up of Peugeot and Citroen and now from 2009 a new sub brand called DS. You remember the Citroen DS was uh, a model, an independent model uh, by Citroen that changed the way the world you know view suspension forever because it will forever remain iconic. But in 2009 Citroen thought why don't we have a luxury brand that would be associated with comfort, the same comfort that was in the 1955 Citroen DS. And so it gave birth to the DS sub-brand of Citroen. So how is that significant to this car? 
Now, the Citroen DS4 was uh, in production from around uh, 2010. And by that time, it was called Citroen DS4. But in 2015, Citroen decided to hand over the brand to the DS, uh, sub-brand of Citroen, to make it more of that comfort sporty brand. And from 2015, the Citroen DS4 lost the Citroen badges. In fact, they just gave us what is maybe a... Uh, a design of the Citroen logo on the grill but instead they put up DS badges on the bot on the bonnet and also they put up DS badges on the side steps and also on the B pillar so the DS sub brand is supposed to be luxurious and soft because the Frenchmen love a soft life but this car is highly related to the Peugeot 308 and in the Kenyan market space today the DS4 is going for roughly 2 million Kenya shillings and I want you to see is it a comfortable Peugeot 308 let's check it out we'll start by seeing what is under the bonnet just like uh, the the cousins the Peugeots you open the bonnet from the left hand side of the car but before we even open uh, open up the bonnet and see what is under the hood, I would like us to talk about the Prima Fascia, or what is called the fascia of the, the Citroen DS4, or the DS4, because currently DS is an, is an independent brand in the PSA group. Did you know that this car has been voted as the most beautiful car in the world? Yes, this Citroen DS. Actually, from 2010 all the way to around 2014, uh, there was one variant. Then it was facelifted and officially handed over to the DS segment. So this is the actually the DS4, the NX version, the first generation of the DS4 that has been facelifted. And these are 2015 facelift, but the car was produced in 2016. And with that, let us see what is under the hood of this car. With the Prima Fasci, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. How does it look? For me, it's a beautiful car. It's very subtle. It's very, very, very French. And it doesn't resemble much of a Peugeot. And now I want us to see what powers up this car. In the Peugeot family, they are not very fancy about what holds up the bonnet. Na bado wakona chuma za doshi. Yes. But the juicy part is not in this or anywhere else. It's in the engines. So if you're buying a Peugeot 308, you will be getting uh, a 1.2 liter engine or in the higher trim levels, you'll be getting the 1.6 liter engine. Well, in the Citroen DS, you get a very interesting lineup of engines. And I want guys to listen very carefully. So in the petrol lineup, you have three petrol engines and all of them are 1.6 liter. So you have a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated VTI. So VTI engines in Peugeot lineup basically mean the naturally aspirated engines with variable valve timing. But now what about the, the turbocharged versions of them? They are called the THP. So the THPs are Peugeot's petrol turbocharged engines. Now on this one, on the THP, if you're buying it on the Citroen DS4 or the DS4 as it should be called, you will get two major variants of the 1.6 THP engine. There is one that is called the THP 155 and there is the THP 200. Now the THP 155 is, is, a, is an improved version of the 1.6 VTI. So they added a turbocharger and it became the THP 155 and the reason it's called THP 155 is because it's a turbocharged engine and it produces around 154 horsepower and then uh, they also went ahead to improve this engine uh, and uh, got another variant that was called the THP 200 now the THP 200 produces around 197 horsepower right so we can round it off to around 200 horsepower so it's the high performance variant of the thp 155 however this particular one is the thp 155 but if you get this car in manual transmission you will get it with the thp 200 actually the higher performance versions of the ds4 uh, 2016 will come with the thp 200 
The other thing I would like to mention is the transmission. So this particular one comes with a six-speed automatic transmission. But if you get it before 2015, you will get the infamous robotized semi-automatic transmission by Peugeot. Sawa sawa. Which other gearbox option can you get on the DS4? You can get a manual transmission. But the manual transmission mostly comes with uh, the diesels. And with the diesel engines, we have two variants. You have the 1.6 liter diesel HDI and the 2 liter HDI. When it comes to torque, the THP 155 will give you around 240 newton meters of torque. And the THP 200 will give you roughly 270 newton meters of torque or thereabout. The diesel ones have way more torque compared to the petrol uh, counterparts. So are we together in terms of engines? I hope watu wamelewa hapo. And uh, let's proceed to the side profile and see what the DS4 has to offer. Well, in terms of suspension, it carries what Citroen invented. It's a monocoque chassis that is front wheel drive and it has traditional McPherson struts at the front and rear independent uh, suspension. It sits on uh, size 18 tires and uh, that is what sets it different from its close cousin, the Peugeot 308, because it has way better clearance and bigger tires. It has discs all round. And now that we are talking about clearance, what if I want to buy this, but something that can take me off road? Well, there's a variant of the DS4 that is called the DS4 Crossback. So definitely the DS4 Crossback is a subcompact crossover SUV version of this car. It sits a bit higher. It has uh, roof rails and plastic padding to prevent your paint from being scratched when you take this car off road. Uh, it does have a very sporty rear end. It's a hatchback, by the way. So there are two body designs. There is the hatchback and there is the crossback. The crossback is SUV inspired. The hatchback is a sporty vehicle. And I want to show you something uh, I mentioned. So I told you that from 2015, the Citroen DS4 actually lost the Citroen badging and they put in the DS wings because the DS logo is inspired by wings. So you can see DS4 Citroen, but with the Citroen, we don't have the Citroen badge. It's just sitting there written Citroen, right? So let's see how much boot space this car has. Just like the Peugeot 308, uh, it has quite ample boot space in fact it's enough for a small family it's fairly practical it can carry around our production equipment without a strain and unlike most cars in the market today the citron ds actually comes with a full spare tire so you don't have to worry about compressors and tire repair kits so that's another unique selling point of the citron ds4 uh, let's take a, a look at the interior before we take this car for a drive with the boys sawa sawa twingi andani Tabla Twingy and Danny, there is a very interesting feature on the DS4. One is, you know, so it doesn't have any door, door locks here or door handles here because, you know, aerodynamics. So the door handles, Zikohapa, Kama, Zanis, and Juke. But now that's not even the interesting part because you have, you have already seen this on the Juke and a few other models. You see this window over here? It does not have a button to take it down and it's designed not to lower. So you can, as a passenger in the Citroen DS, you cannot lower this. Even the driver can't. And it's, it's, a very, it's a very interesting design feature. I think it's safety inspired. And, but one thing is, you do not have to worry about being inside here because the AC in this car works so well. Twingy and Danny by the Twingy and Danny. Inside the DS4, there is a Peugeot vibe, but uh, the dashboard is unlike Peugeot. The steering wheel is unlike Peugeot because Peugeots basically have a smaller steering wheel that is more sportier, but this one is a bit bigger. You get all your steering controls, the center console much more like the Peugeot 308. Remember, they are cousins. Eh? In fact, the DS4 is like a child that went to visit the grandmother 
uh, during the holidays. Apujo 308 went to visit the grandmother uh, during the holiday and it was well fed and it grew into the Citroen DS4. It does have very, very, very sporty bucket seats and they hug you very well, especially when you are cornering because this car has epic handling. I'm sure when you are driving with the boys, they are going to tell you that. Now, the other design cue about the French is that this vehicle is not sophisticated. It's very, very, very simple. And the simplicity almost looks like that of the Renault Lutetia. Anyway, they are, we can assume they come from the same neighborhood, so they must copy a thing or two and their designs might be inspired by the people who would actually buy these vehicles. Now let's take this car for a drive with the boys and get to hear what they have to say about the DS4. And when you are taking the drive with the boys, I'm going to give you a fun fact about the engines that power up the Citroen DS4. Yes. yes. Welcome to Conversations Review with the Boys. Kabisa. And uh, Leo took on a Gary Moja, very iconic. And I told you that I'm going to start with a fun fact. Yes. You know, I love here driving pleasure. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the engine mm -hmm. in this car, yes. and also in most Pujos, the 1.6 liter THP, mm -hmm. was developed, co developed mm -hmm. by Pujo and BMW? Ah. Eh? Yes. Yes. That's interesting. That's so, very interesting. So, Mambo ya hapa. Eh. Mambo ya wapi? Eh, hapa. As in bra calls it kijiko. Eh, yeah, kijiko. <laughs> Class. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Now, this car feels good, Eric. It feels good. I, I think the way you say it, it gives you the vibes of Lutetia. Yes. The simplicity in the build uh, design here is, is Lutetia. Is. I think it's more on that side than the Pujo. I think the Pujo 308 is more like Jerez Zapana, like it's more premium. Yeah. You'll find some leather underpinnings, pale na pale. But this one, there is very nice, soft to touch plastic that I know. And I was telling you before the review, this plastic can outlast the edge of this car. Yeah, most likely, yes. yes. It's, it's, it's not brittle plastic. It's not, yes. It's Sika Maile. I got to start. Sika Maya G11. Hey, G11. G11. Yes. You only come a plastic, you'll pick you a carrier bag. So it's a very good, very good, very good plastic. Um, One thing I love about it is uh, the seats, as you said. Very comfortable. They tuck in very well. Especially come on to Mrefu. Let me remind these guys that I'm 6'2. Uh, because I uh, you guys have been struggling to accept this fact. Eric calls me 2'6", but it's just a reminder <laughs> that I'm 6'2". And one thing that it has, this seat, away from being dual toned, eh, is it has massage. Eh? Let me activate the massage. It is a Eric who appreciates the life. <laughs> but massage yake ni ujinga. Kama ina kufinya mgo ikirudi nyuma. Ikirudi nyuma. Hakuna kitu yamana. But it's kama ile ya kinyozi. Anyway, the, the, the point is it has yeah. massage seats. Yes. Yeah. Kama mgongo yako inahitaji kujoroshwa, mm -hmm. kidogo at least you have something to work on here. Yeah. 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 So, kabla uende nyumbani upatane na kamande. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tuulize mbugo huko nyuma na kaje. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bugwa. Here behind it's giving me to be honest, give me the 308 vibe. Uh, not much leg room. And I feel this car is one of. Is in a. No, 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 Imagine I don't even have any cup holders, seen a hand rest, there's no AC vents. AC vents, but I got a premium. But I think there's something very important yes. here that we need to demystify. I think there are two types of uh, this type of car. If you're a person like me who is looking, if you're looking for a bit of more premiumness, luxuriness, <laughs> Go straight forward mm -hmm. and get the 308, but minus the power. Yes, minus the power. Minus actually. the power, okay? But if you're a guy who's looking for a sporty car, that's why I said 
in my comments it's giving me the Lutisha vibe because Lutisha pia ilikuwa very sporty very aggressive with the Nissan uh, engine mina, minimalist inside yeah, and very minimal kama hitu it gives you so i think here there is a balance kama ni mse unapenda kijiko kama Eric this car perfectly fits Eric it doesn't have the stupid things that Eric doesn't want na inahanya inafanya nini ina <laughs> <laughs> so hii ni garukiwa ndani the only thing you are about ni kucheza chesa kwa baraba eh bana katafunua katafunua hiyo na mengine ya oh sijui heated seats sijui nini hiyo ni mambo utaki so i think it's and i think manufacturers are daring and, and I'll, I'll, i'll give it to these guys and the guys who are behind Lutisha because they are daring something unique they're telling you I'm going to give you power and sportiness but I'm going to take away some few and lesser things that I feel yes. you as a sporty driver do not you do not need and this is what you get in this car and part of the reason why another reason why those those uh, the rear windows don't roll downwards yes. Yes. is because of aerodynamics ah. the same reason why it doesn't have door handles on the rear doors ah. so it's it's very sporty it's it's Yeah, just like the Lutetia it's, yes. it's it's a sporty variant of it but there's something else that Citroen has never let us down when it comes to this car we we know them for comfort yes but on this car they have showed us something that is very different that they can do sporty suspension for handling in corners man and it does it does handle it handles in corners it got it to mengia corners hey, huko na na so na so and it handles it's very firm very adhesive to the road and you see with most cars that have a sporty suspension it is normally too stiff yes kama ile ya ivo ama cayenne ama cayenne it's it's very stiff ama volvo xc60 yes, r design yes. you feel that these sporty in the way that at even the small bumps mm, you can feel, feel them exactly. but this one is very sporty yet so comfortable, comfortable and, and refined yes It's like a balance of two words in one. Exactly. Which makes this car very amazing. But from the guys who introduced the Citroen DS, What the car say? that up to date nobody has been able to replicate that suspension. What in fact, say? Citroen I think they are the suspension gurus. Yes. Look at the 55504. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pujo. Yes. Bwana, hiyo unaendesha kwa mawe na husikii ni kuna hakuna kitu unasonga tu. Lakini Pujo nani? Eh nayo 54. Pujo. Hiyo mambo hiyo gari litoresha. Ah, we have buy that car only for suspension. Are you guys ready we test the zero can, can we test how fast it accelerates? Yes. Why so, not? Let's look for a clear place. Yes. So yeah, I'm seeing you are you are you are punching punching things. Yes, I want to mm-hmm. see what it can. Good. Good. Ya kwanza. Umeka hii. Iko Eka Sport. Iko on. Roger. Eco Sport. Yes. yes. You ready bana sike? Yes. In 1 2 3 go. Well, well. Hey, listen to that punch, bro. Okay, and tops. Guess the number. Huh? 11 seconds. Eleven. 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 Let's try and see. Can we do another take? Let's try and do another take. Do a U-turn. Do a U-turn. Do a U-turn. We need to verify. We cannot. Yeah, it is doing the same thing the lift did to us. Lakini excuse me kwa na kiburi. Yaani you get 11 seconds and you're not talking. 11 seconds is my cake territory. By the way, kitambo is my cake territory. That's 2500 pure niceness from the 4G app. Sio ri? Yep. So, sio ati ati ni mbaya but maybe we can get better. Correct? In fact, for 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 uh, off the shelf car. Yes. Very good. Usisahau kuna gari kama RVR zina boost of 19 seconds. Edit brags on it. Yes. 1 2 3 and go. Wait, wait, that was a good launch, Eric. That was a very now we are talking. Now we are talking, Eric. Now we are talking. That's it. 10 seconds. Hey, you should not say that's a lot of seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And yes. consider we are heavy. We, we are have, four. We are four guys in the car plus no. production equipment. Yes. Last time, do you know the the, the, the last time a car that gave us the same thrill? 10 yeah. I want to remind you it's the Honda Jade RS. RS. How, how much did uh, the Honda Jade do? I think it did around 10 seconds. 10 seconds. seconds. So, a 1500 cc with a turbo with charger. With a turbo charger. Yes. Now this is 1600 cc turbo. Yes. 10 seconds. 
much more heavier. Yes. But yeah, we have we have more people in the room. Yes. In the car compared to the jet. Uh, yeah. So technically, if we delete people in this car, this is a sub ten car. It's a sub ten car. Yes. And one thing we have to agree is, uh, in as much as most people might want to throw stones. Yes. Uh, straight roads are for fast cars. Yes. But curvy roads. roads are for fast drivers. Yes. And Citroen did something, and we were talking about this. Yes. Citroen and Peugeot did something. The cars are not the most powerful. Yes. But they'll do things in corners that, that are... even the GTI will be afraid of doing. And we did that at Whistling Morans. You yes. remember? Bugo can run. Bugo clip. can run that clip. And just show them that the, the Peugeot 308 wagon. Remember, it's not even a hatchback. With the wagon. Did better times around the track than the GTR, than the Golf GTI. The GTI, oh not the GTI, the yes. GTI, <laughs> the Golf GTI. Yes. Yeah. But one thing we all agreed is, however much it did better, yes. But the GTI and the, the the BMW was more fun. It was fun to drive. It yes. it had a better. You know the reason why they did better than the GTI and the yes. BMW yes. was because it could go around those corners very quickly. It was not the fastest, even in terms of power, but. Yeah. Corners, it catches up the time kwa corner. Yes. You corner hii gari unaingia na 80, ama 100, GTI labda uingia na. Na slightly lower than that. Kwa sabi ya oversteer. Understeer. Understeer, I mean. Eh. Hey. Mm -hmm. And you see, those cars, look at the BMWs, the GTIs, and the Subarus. They are very brutal. Yes, ah, very. Very brutal. You put your feet down on the accelerator, you feel like where heaven is here. Yes, but this one, mm. the guys, uh, cars from the PSA group, mm. they'll be not so much power. Now, when you come to a corner, you can see that you can see corner visually safely. Actually, the way I'll define it is, you feel when you're taking corners with this car, or the 308, or the Retisha, you don't feel scared, yes. even at high speeds. You don't feel scared. But the GTI, oh, you oh, man, 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 man. The, GTI, the GTI, you feel scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, it's very scary. <laughs> but that is why GTI is Zinasha Inuko Masinga, Uko Kwa Drag. Kwa Drag, yes. straight line, yeah. correct. Can so, we take a team score? Let's take a team score. Bugwa. Yeah. Na tuko na Mr. Sam. Sam tuko doesn't na, like talking. Yeah, he doesn't like talking much. Yeah, he's our engineer. Yeah. He is, and he hates it that we call him Samidu. Samidu. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot call an engineer a name of a musician. <laughs> a musician. Who is dating Nyamu. Very nice. Bugwa, team score. <laughs> Only this guy will give it a, a good nine. Good. A solid nine. I want to add more the the power I need. Yes, it's minimalist, but you get uh, on top of that minimalism on the interior, you get that power. So for me, I'm giving it a clean nine. Hundred percent. I think I'll go with Bugo and mm -hmm. also on this one, Eric. I'll give it a nine. I will deny it the one, not because of anything else, but because of the bias in the idea that probably there is a person who is thinking, oh, I need some premiumness in this. Oh. Can also can I get more of that? So it lacks a little bit in terms of premiumness, but in terms of what this car is built to do, I think to me it's perfect. It takes the corners, it takes the power, it takes the speed, and that is what a young person or lady will be looking into this kind of a car. So for that purpose, it takes my nine hundred percent out of ten. Okay. Yes. So now mine mine allow me to to give it a very fair score. Yes. I'll give this car a nine point five. You know I'll give it a nine point five because for the target market this car is targeted towards young people who are enthusiastic about driving. Right. Yes. So for them this car suits the purpose. And the reason I won't give it a ten is uh, for obvious reasons because uh, one Kenyan you see this the person who Actually, this car is a very good alternative to somebody who would want to buy a VW Golf TSI. Yes, yes, agreed. Because it's more powerful compared to the TSI. It yes. handles better than the TSI. Yes. It's more forgiving in terms of maintenance because it's basically TSI. Peugeot compared to the TSI. So it's basically any car. It's it's a car that, and it's also a car that is going to stand out. Yes, and you're not oh. having TSG problems. Yes, you understand. So it's by the way, you've captured where it's a perfect alternative. To the TSI, just like the and it's even Lutetia. more spacious. Yes, compared to the TSI. TSI. In fact, this car is even more spacious than the Lutetia. Well, you wrong. Well, it's bigger than the Lutetia. It's bigger than the TSI. So, it it's basically a car for the person who wants some sportiness, but a little bit more of space. And 
practicality. And practicality. Correct. Yeah. So 9.5 and it's because no one is perfect, no car is perfect, yes. so it loses uh, 0.5 because of uh, the same reason Mwali Mwangwa composition, how can you put here? 50 out of 50. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so this car takes home a solid 28.5 out of 30. Nice. Can you go and do value for money? Let's go and do value Don't for money. Can you guys to enjoy this thing, Buanas? Ah! 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 After driving with the boys, this car is, it's a, it's a lovable car. It's a car that you love to drive. It's a car that you love to own. Right now, it's being priced at around 2 million Kenya shillings. It might go higher, but this is the chance to actually get yourself a Citroen DS4. And I'll tell you why. In terms of maintenance, it shares the underpinnings and the engines with the Peugeot family and Peugeot parts are becoming more available in the Kenyan market space as the Peugeot brand continues to be a popular everyday vehicle once again. You know Peugeot used to reign back in the day and let me tell you history repeats itself. Today we are seeing more Peugeots on the Kenyan roads just like we were when we were growing up. The other thing is the price tag. Well 2 million Kenya shillings if you get it from auto select by conversations. Uh, 2 million Kenya shillings. What else is priced at, at 2 million Kenya shillings? The Mazda Axela, the Peugeot 308 comes in slightly below this this car but it's basically they come from the same family but this one has an obvious advantage and that is the the sportiness of this car and also uh, the ground clearance because ground clearance is a thing in kenya so is it value for money yes it is value for money i hope this has been an insightful review i've been your host eric wokabi eric with the ck do follow me at a personal level on facebook twitter and instagram and also we value your feedback tell us on the comments segment uh, what do you love about the citron ds4 also if you want to see it uh, pay us a visit at uh, waterfront current you will find this car you'll have an opportunity to test drive it and experience what you have experienced with the boys here so, so, so see you next time and the festivities are almost here so we have some interesting content lined up.